Madame Simone is extracting silk from the cocoons of silkworms at her home in the village of Mahitsi in the Itazi region of Madagascar. It's a family tradition. In fact, the cultivation and production of silk, or sericulture, has been practiced here in her village since the time of the kings, the period before the island was colonized by the French at the end of the 19th century. Here you can still find the old traditional method of hand producing silk thread that has been passed on through families for centuries. The silk craft began with a custom of weaving burial shrouds like this one. But Malagasy artisans now also produce products such as scarves, shawls, bedsheets, mats, and many other articles of clothing. Traditionally in Madagascar, villages were dedicated to specific trades or products. Villages centered around Sisal, for example, and clusters of surrounding villages would create a production base for products made from that crop. And here in Itazi, a similar production cluster exists for silk. It's no coincidence that one of the last remaining tapia forests on the island can be found here. The leaf of the tapia tree is the staple diet of the wild silkworm, endemic to Madagascar. But the loss of forest throughout the island has seen a drop in raw silk production. In modern sericulture, silk is extracted from the cocoon of a commercial species of silkworm, the larva of the silk moth. And during its gestation period, the leaves of the mulberry tree are this creature's preferred diet. For many years, most of the cocoons for Madagascar's famous silk have been imported from Asia. But all that is changing now that a new project, Prospere, is assisting the island nation's silk business. The project, financed by the United Nations International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, seeks to modernize the silk value chain, root and branch, from encouraging the production of silk cocoons to the support of manufacturing cooperatives, from business training for shopkeepers to the development of relationships with international exporters. Nous n'arrivons pas en imposant des nouveaux systèmes. Nous utilisons les systèmes en place et nous nous appuyons sur les dynamiques de ces systèmes pour les faire aller vers plus de modernité. And as one might expect from an agency dedicated to rural development, that modernization is beginning quite literally at the grassroots level, by supporting farmers to grow new trees, in order to provide the leaves to feed the silkworms, and thereby to provide the homegrown raw material, the cocoons. <laughs> The sericulturalist feeds the silkworms with the leaves and later collects the cocoons and sells them to the next person on the chain, Madame Simone. After collecting the thread on a spindle, Madame Simone then transfers the thread onto bobbins, which she can then sell. Clients such as this association in a nearby town. Here a group of women are producing products using Madame Simone's threads and the high quality of the product makes it perfectly suited for international export to shops in Rome, Paris and London.
Et pour nous, c'est vraiment une des clés du développement d'utiliser les connaissances de base des gens, de leur amener d'autres connaissances à travers les business development services, les services aux entreprises, afin de les emmener vers un autre niveau de créativité et de commerce. The Prospere project is due to run for seven years, in which time it hopes to strengthen the chain of silk production and thereby help this centuries-old tradition to maintain itself long into the future.